Hey mate, hey mate. Hey taxi driver, you seen taxi driver? Yeah? You can relate? So you realise that you could be Cardi Sansa to Travis Pickle on a timer waiting to explode. Say me, say me. I have some kind of fucking celebrity with me. You know, someone like, you know, British art or built like a British house, you know. Oh, Peter fucking Andre, Peter Andre, Peter Andre. So, see, I think it would be rude to just kill him off before you talk to him first. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? Thumb screws instantly swing to mind, followed by a, followed by a test on the electrical, electricals on the testicles, and say, and finally a bullet through the head saying, "Hey, beat, time to fucking die. No one gives a fuck about you." <laughs> fuck me. You think? Uh, good film though, right? Failure. Fucking failure. Who are you to, huh? I'm fucking Kano. I'm the black fucking dragon. Huh? Twirling around with fucking anal beads. Listen to a wushu fucking wanker who wears hubcap as a fucking helmet. Huh? Now sit down, shut the fuck up, and pass me a fucking egg roll! <laughs> That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking laser beam, motherfucker! Better than fucking fireballs, you pussy! I'm fucking Kane, I'll get it! Fucking hell, I knew I'd get mine first. Right, and you made me watch that rubbish. Why? To make you feel better about that. I was watching Independence Day. Supposed to make me feel a bit better about Darren. To show you that worse things can happen. <laughs> you don't realise, right, that aliens have never invaded the Earth. What? How do you explain the Earth then? Is there any wonder why I'm moving out? <laughs> What's he doing? Looks like. Mushrooms. Either that or he's like, looking for a very small person. Oh, well, nothing. He, he just he kind of does his own thing. He's, he's a little eccentric. <laughs> I guess we're all coming to the club, right? <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. Hey, Nancy. Yeah. I'm sorry I wasn't here. Oh, it's good. It's good you want it. It's good you're with Mike and Will. So they say they don't need a babysitter, but trust me, they do. Yeah, and look, to be honest, I, can, I think it's kind of good that you were here. Um, I mean, who would have been in charge otherwise? Steve? Yeah, he's grown up a lot, you know. <laughs> sure. Look, are you okay? Yeah, of course. It's just, you know, life has its way of getting in the way of our plans, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it does. Sure seems that way. I guess it's too late to put saving the world on his college resume, eh? <laughs>